Hi guys! Welcome to my family, guys. <laughs> if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. You know I love you guys. You know I really truly appreciate all the support. And if you're a newbie, uh, a first timer, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We would love you to join the Soul Tribe, all right, guys? So let's tap in. I hope you've had a beautiful, beautiful night. We are one day away from this eclipse, okay? So let's dive in. I had a beautiful night, by the way. So, spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest light light. I call you into my beautiful space and I ask for a clear, precise, channeled message with the Corleone deck to start off the reading. Guys, please put yourself where you belong. You know I'm just a messenger. Please do not shoot the messenger. I am going to tell you what I feel, see, here. And I'm not sugarcoating anything. So if you feel your, if you wear your feelings on your sleeve, I suggest you click off. If you do not like swearing, I suggest you click off. We got free will here. One, one, one on my clock. Ancestors close any other door other than the highest white light. If the shoe don't fit, don't make it, guys. Leave it for somebody who it does. And these are for entertainment purposes. So please use your discernment. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Bottom of the deck is the lovers. Now you have a choice, guys. Some choice. Wow, with the four of swords, it's like you healing from a lovers, perhaps. <clears throat> You're taking a rest. Knight of Cups in reverse because there is love bombers around you. So you're taking um you're taking a rest from some kind of proposal that may have been coming in or in the past, present, future. Remember, this could be your story. This could be somebody around you. This could be somebody playing in your energy that you know nothing about. So please put yourself where you belong. <laughs> Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh. The five of swords in the upright. The nine of wands in the upright. And then the king of cups in reverse. A gee. <laughs> okay, guys, listen. The reason why you... Spiritual burps. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, guys. Do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tasha's going to spill the tea straight. No chase. I ain't sugarcoating this. So cheers. Mmm. You took a rest because clearly there was somebody who was very overbearing. They came in as a love bomber. They proposed some kind of dreamy offer to you, but clearly they weren't going to be able to. They weren't going to be able to fulfill that dream that they 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 cooked up for you. Taz, here. <laughs> Taz is right next to me. I'm feeding him or uh, bananas. But he wants to bark at people passing, so don't mind him, okay, guys? Now, you're realizing that you need to rest. You have the strength. You are that nine of wands, the wounded warrior. But you've seen that maybe the options that you have had in the past, in the present, or maybe in the future, aren't um, at your status, at your liking. Like, you know, like, how can I say this? It's placeholders. You have placeholders, okay? Because there's a, some kind of narcissistic energy that was trying to abuse you, control you. They had a lot of uh, arterial motives. They had uh, this strong opinion of you. It caused a lot of conflict. And this queen of wa uh, swords in reverse, this very codependent person, they're, they're very needy and they're a liar, tried to come up against you to defeat you in some kind of way, bring you a lot of conflict. With the five of wands, they wanted to drag you into the conflicts at, at all costs. Taz, get over here. Excuse me. <laughs> but you've defeated this person. Here, Taz, you defeated this person and somebody is very emotionally unstable because, here, Taz, because of the fact that you are unfazed, unbothered, and you know that somebody chose a queen of swords in reverse. But there was no love there. This person who has offered somebody some kind of love, relationship, partnership, friendship, whatever, they did it out of jealousy and spite. 
They wanted to drag you and, and make you feel conflicted. But you had the strength to power through this. Now somebody feels like, ugh. <laughs> like completely drained. Like everything that they have tried to do just didn't work. Star. Because you're the fucking star. You really did heal from this choice. This lovers. So you're not feeling any kind of way if somebody chose another person over you. You're the star. You healed from this situation. And you know that the love that you have made the right decision for you. Just like this person made the right decision for themselves, guys. There is no wrong or right choice. It is what it is. Everybody makes their choices for themselves so we can learn, learn, grow, heal, and evolve. Okay? And that's exactly what you did as that star. And somebody is really upset of... of your ability to go inwards. Maybe you heal while you're sleeping and a lot of people are trying to send you shit while you're sleeping. Somebody wanted to come in with a proposal, an offer towards you because they seen that you were the big bank, that you were very valuable. The thing is, is that they couldn't measure up to that value. You see what I mean? Like you are too expensive for somebody and it has nothing to do with money and has everything to do with value internally. Somebody's moral compass was all fucked up. They thought that they can control you in some kind of way. And because they couldn't, they chose somebody else to control, but then still in love with you at the end of the day. That's why they're very conflicted in this relationship that they're in because nobody is dependent. <laughs> like n nobody's independent. Everybody's dependent on each other. And you are not like this. You really got out at the right time because this queen of swords in reverse has tried to lie on you. So that they can stand as the empress energy. But they're the empress in reverse. Okay. So this queen of swords wanted this emperor. Male, female, it's irrelevant. So they lied. It could even be a mother figure who was very abusive and lying because of their codependency towards this son or daughter. Has somebody's mouth cannot stop running <laughs> is what it comes down to. And so they thought that they could alienate the real empress and take their position now this emperor sees the confliction that this person had towards you this mother this baby mama whatever and they see that this person is very dependent on them and this is not the relationship partnership friendship that they wanted they were bamboozled hoodwinked they were finessed <laughs> Yeah, it's the hangman in reverse with the eight of cups. Somebody is walking away from the, from the confliction, from the drama, from the dragging pe in people's conflicts. Somebody is very much hung. It's like they have no choice but to look at things in a different perspective. Because now they see who the valuable one is. There was a lot of love bombers who really just wanted your value. Now, you could be the emperor, boss CEO, independent contractor of your own life. Or like I said, somebody was after your emperor. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But if your emperor chose another person, clearly in the lower vibration, it was because they wanted to control them. Six of Cups. It's somebody from your friends, from your family, from your group that you have no nostalgic memories with that you had to defeat, conquer, go on the battlefield and fucking slay the motherfucking demons. It is what it is. Six of Cups in reverse. You are not going backwards. Somebody did not or was not or is not able to fucking heal their inner child and give their self the self-love necessary to love on others. So they made a foolish choice, clearly. With the Knight of Cups, maybe with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, take it as it resonates. But this person is very, very uh, disheveled. They're emotionally unstable. They're uh, manipulative. They're not loving. They pretend to be. It's an image, guys. That's all it is. Because at the end of the day, they do some dark shit in the background. And it was a foolish choice. Yeah, you're standing on your truth, Ace of Swords, to the bullies, Ace of uh, Page of Wands in reverse. You know the truth about this lover about their choice, about the decision. And you stand on your decision because you told the truth on the bullies. Judgment day, guys. I love this. Judgment. That... Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. No, I'm just kidding. Archangel Gabriel is here to protect you. <laughs> Judgment day is here, guys. Let's get um, an angel message since the angels want to come out and really start protecting you. People are going to have to walk away from what no longer... They no longer... um is good for them. You got 663, angel number 663, okay, guys? 663. So that's the angel number. I don't know if you could see it from there. <laughs> Let me see. So six, oh, 
you still can't see it from there. So I'll just put it here. Six, six, and three. So if somebody wants to comment and let me know what 663 six, means to them, go for it, okay? I love you guys. So let's grab another deck. You really heal from a situation. Somebody feels like they missed the opportunity to grasp you. You are authentic to your core values. So to the world, you are naked. And somebody wanted to use that against you to try to control you because they knew you had a lot of value. So somebody lied. Somebody lied. They said that you weren't a good mother, that you didn't take care of yourself. Somebody lied so that they can look better about themselves. Well, what the fuck? But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, people are seeing the truth. Somebody is getting crucified by their own sword. It's like live by the sword, die by the sword, right? I know I, had, I got the t-shirt for that life. <laughs> Somebody's walking away. It's the three of swords, star, and the fucking strength in reverse. Like I said, somebody fucking could not stand your position. And that you've seen these friends, family members from your past. They were emotionally unstable. A whole fucking mess. And then they wanted you to look like a whole fucking mess. And break your heart. So that this way they could say that you are what they said that you are. But because of that heartbreak, you healed. You are the healer. You heal from whatever anybody sends towards you. That's how fucking powerful you are. Somebody's got their tail between their fucking legs right now because it's the double star. I'm clarifying the star with the four of swords and it's the double star, guys. You are healing and you're going to meet somebody who is a star like you. But there was a lot, a lot of interferences here that caused both parties on both sides to feel very much broken. Somebody didn't have the strength and courage to meet up with you, to be themselves to be authentic in their core values and rest from some kind of experience externally so they caused you a lot of heartbreak with the three of swords now they're heartbroken it's the five of pentacles in reverse with the ace of wands you have the five of pentacles is in reverse you have reclaimed back your power and you know how valuable you are somebody has a lot of passion for you and they probably did but the thing is there's a lot of love bombers and you are probably single because you know people are motherfucking love bombers and they are not who they say they are. There is a lot of people wearing masks and as you, who you are, people are scared to come around you because then their mask is going to get ripped off. But somebody is so intrigued of that fact that you don't care how you look as long as it brings peace externally and internally to you. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're the Queen of Cups. This mother figure or this very overbearing fucking Cancer Scorpio Pisces, I mean, sorry, it could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces here, but I mean, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in reverse, and this a Taurus, Libra in reverse, so it's double Libra, somebody check their birth chart, and then you have Aries here. These people seen you as the Queen of Cups in the upright, very loving, very intuitive, very giving. And they used that to their advantage. They thought that you weren't going to say anything. You weren't going to do anything. And because you didn't say anything or do anything, somebody thought that they got away with it. But you're very patient. You're very patient. And you knew that somebody was going to see you for the loving person that you were. And they were going to feel some kind of way for disrespecting, degrading, or dis discarding you. Because now they have to walk away from some very overbearing energy. The Hierophant in reverse and a relationship. Somebody may have gotten in a marriage, a relationship, and now is looking like they married a whole hot mess and walked away from the real gift. Now, there's a lot of passion for you. Somebody may only be able to have sex with somebody if they think of you. That is fucked up. Why are they even doing it then? This is why they need to walk away. Somebody knows that they brought you into some kind of conflict only because of their immaturity and inability to walk away from people who are clearly making them feel fucking frustrated and toxic. Yeah, it's the Wheel of Fortune. You ended a cycle, Page of Wands. And once you ended a cycle, you have a new beginning coming in. There's a message. It's the Eight of Pentacles, but somebody refused to work with you or you're refusing to do the work with somebody, take it as it resonates. Maybe, like I said, somebody didn't want to do the actual work. They wanted to, you know, get away with a lot. They, they wanted to choose somebody who was lower value so that that way they can use them as a doormat 
everything that they couldn't do to you, they did to this person. But they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> it's, what, it's what it comes down to. And now somebody is seeing why they're not getting a new beginning in with you or a message about you or nothing. And they're, they're watching your wheel of fortune. You had the strength. The willpower to walk the fuck away from these toxic people because they did not want that wheel of fortune to turn in your favor. But guess what? The underdog is now on top. Page of wands in reverse with the chariot. You walked the fuck away. Actually, you ran the fuck away from these narcissistic people because you knew they were falling on your face. There is a cancer that is very much a tyrant and keeps getting in somebody's head. They have to run away from this person. Knight of Cups, because they're a love bomber. They keep coming in to distract somebody so they stay on some fucking fucked up path. Yeah, it's the death, so they cause a death and an ending for this person, but it's judgment day. These people who have done things in the dark are going through judgment because they tried to end, sacrifice a good fucking person, a star, because you shine bright, your light irritated these motherfuckers, demons. It is what it is. That's exactly what it comes down to, guys. So cheers, I guess. Mm. But they really did want it to like send you this bullseye. This this bullet was for you. But it ricocheted and hit them. And now people are scattering like a bunch of fucking cockroaches. Wow. Because you got flow and balance. And these people are all topsy-turvy. I'm telling you, they did not want you to flow. And you are a fucking... Lyrical genius. It's like you drop bars on a daily. Your flow is just harmonic. <laughs> and somebody is really, 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 really longing for you in separation. But you changed directions. You packed your bags and you walked away. Now somebody who is a star like you has went through the same experiences as you, but is the complete opposite of you. They are longing for you. You may be in separation with this person or you may just be separated like you're, you never met this person. Somebody is taking the courage to pack their fucking bags, walk the fuck away, and find stability within themselves. You renewed and sparked somebody's light back into their life. You know, you it's like you had that lantern, you had that that candle, and you went and lit somebody else's candle up for them with your light. This is beautiful. And now you're standing firm on your belief systems, ten tones down. You got strong foundation. But you build that foundation for yourself. And somebody sees you as Venus, the goddess of love, and wants to come and bring you harmony and stability. Together you can. Friends, family, acquaintances, with the right crew, with the right environment, with the right people, things can change. It's like, say you were in a relationship with somebody who did not want to break generational traumas and cycles. Um, and you left that person. And they went towards somebody who was clearly at their vibration. But now they're waking up and they want to do the work. But the thing is, is the only reason why they want to do the work is because they're looking at their next generation, say their children. And their children are going through the same cycle that they may have went through. So in order to make sure that their children break the cycle, because it is possible it can happen, they're going to be the example for these children. <sighs> that is beautiful. But there was a lot of avoidance of this. And because of that avoidance and that stalemate, the environment, the, the people, the places, they have motivated their next of kin to be just like them. And this is something that they really, 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 truly did not want to happen. So they're going to do whatever they can to make sure that there's a strong foundation um, good role models around them so that this way they can have a better life but you have to pack your bags somebody sees you as wish fulfillment maybe you could have been a good role model to these people to their children to their family take it as it resonates but they clearly disown you discarded you because they couldn't do the work they weren't able to do the work and these people clearly aren't able to conquer you because they went on the battlefield with you and you clearly destroyed them your wishes are coming true, guys. Maybe you just wanted somebody to reflect at how much they really did long for you in this separation so that this way they can stop projecting and do the real work. You got a reunion of soul ties here, guys. It is wish fulfillment. But somebody has to realize that the death, 
that was caused, the ending of a situation was because of somebody's ulterior motives. Like people are very jealous of your awakening, of your intuition, because it does call out people who are in the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, people who are trying to take advantage of you. They know who you are as the Ace of Pentacles and that the Ace of Pentacles belongs to the Two of Cups. So somebody could take your relationship, your partnership, your job, whatever, but they're never going to really stand in that true blitz of um, wealth. The wealth is the mental wealth, the spiritual wealth. This is wealth, guys. Yes, you can have a lot of money, but all you are is a rich, miserable person. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. <laughs> somebody has a lot of passion for you, wants to come in and bring equilibrium. But the thing is, is... They were a love bomber, or they are a love bomber, or they're going to be a love bomber. Take it as it resonates. That's why it's very important to use your intuition. And you reclaim back your power. You did it all by yourself, and a lot of people are spying on you, especially this emperor in the upright and this empress in reverse. They have lied on you for a long time now. These people can't lie anymore because you have walked away, and a lot of people are walking away from them because they know they're fucking haters. They're clearly uh, in some kind of outdated traditional mindset religion-based mindset that clearly is wrong because what they say they do is not what they do in the background guys like these people are in a polyamorous polygamous lifestyle and if somebody allows you to do some stupid shit and and they, they don't really love you they don't really love you and that's what this emperor is finding out that this empress never really loved them not their family not their kids not them not at all and that's the hangman i'm telling you somebody's stuck they're stuck because they see the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. And this king of king of cups in reverse, this tyrant, this bully, has wanted to come towards you just to love bomb on you. But they know it's a foolish choice because you're not tolerating anybody in this lower vibrational energy who is trying to make you conform to their outdated belief systems. You are Venus. You are the goddess of love. You spark people's fucking good nature in them. Somebody could be a very good-hearted person, but they put on a mask to make other, to fit in. Like, listen, it's easier to fit into the environment than to change because then obvi obviously, you know, you're going to have to change your friends, your family, everything. So it's easier just to put a mask on and, and fit in. But then you wake the fuck up from the illusions and you hate who the fuck you are. Everybody's around you got their hand fucking out. There's no real friends. Bottom of the deck, six of cups in reverse. It's all people from your past who should not be in your life. <laughs> not whatsoever. Taz, you want the rest of this banana? Taz, come here. So you're seeing it. And you're going to call it out. You don't deserve to be loved, bomb. Nobody does. Here you go, my love. My oldest comes home tomorrow. He only went to his dad's for the weekend. Because um, I lit a fire under their dad's ass. And um, they, he took them to the movies to yesterday. So sometimes we have to be assholes. So then this way, you know, fucking people do their fucking job. Because, you know, it makes them look bad if they don't. <laughs> like i said my son said that he got um his father's buying him ice cube tickets for easter so we'll see if i set the fire under tyler's ass he has my baby daddy he has to do as he says and say as he does i um am a single single income household i get no government money whatsoever he gets the government money and because i do so much with my children and for my children makes him look bad because he's got his own fucking company painting company and he gets all the benefits so cheers to that thank the lord that he's gonna do stuff with them because that's all i do it for is just to make sure that he does things with them because they're his fault that's their father i will never ever ever make like take my children away from their father I just don't want to have anything to do with him i have a middleman is that my children are the middleman <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is sometimes we have to be a asshole and i had a download a while ago so wait hold on i'm gonna get it like i write my downloads on whatever pieces of paper that i can find at the time because sometimes they're really really good right and it says uh don't get it twisted you did the work 
and the universe will reward you for getting out of the simulation, okay? So you got out of fucking simulation and somebody's getting out of the simulation because they don't want to be there. They don't want to deal with the fucking trauma of these narcissistic bullies. Like if somebody is bullying you, it's because they don't have any fucking power within themselves. So let's see what's going on with the Oracle decks, okay, guys? Spirit guides, let's see what's going on. Yep, you got the power. You got the truth, guys. You stand on the truth. People, a lot of people try to abuse their power, but they just lost their fucking power. I'm telling you, they really wanted to take something that was yours and then treat you animalistic. Hoo-wee. Yeah, it's because people are living in group living. Somebody wanted the group. They chose the group over a two of cups. And you're not good with that. You're not fine with that. You don't want to live in communal living. You have a tribe, but your tribe is individual people. And you don't want to control your tribe. You want them to be free thinkers, to think outside the box, to do their own research. And these people in this cult-like living, they want you to control the religion-based mindset. They want you to be controlled. Like if you do something that doesn't fit their standards, then you're out. What the fuck? Whatever happened to unconditional love? There isn't any there. And you have unconditional love for yourself. So you see that the majority loses. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Be the minority because the majority loses. Yeah, you're taking a new adventure. And people are watching you. It's a whole fucking group of people watching you. And your heart is leading you in the right direction. And these narcissistic people are getting all the fuck, cop the fuck up. Somebody wants to communicate with you about this relationship, partnership, this cult that they were in. Take it as it resonates because they see you as an athlete. They know that you fight for what's right. Here to get gladiator. You have these martial arts <laughs> that are like, you know, I don't know. You're just the fucking soldier is what it comes down to. And this king of cups in reverse, I'm feeling it's a cancer who wanted to come towards you to fucking try to get you to miss out on a relationship or a partnership or just to conform you into something was an abuser. They abused you, abuse, abusive relationship. They were abusive. So they tried to like beat you like a fucking dog, like tried to train you like a fucking dog when, yo, that's fucked up because people shouldn't even be trying to do that to their own fucking dogs. Like what the fuck? Like somebody tried to control you. So that this way you would always be coming back like, oh, it's fucked up. That's that's really fucked up. There's nothing there out of the deck. Yeah, somebody was instructed. I'm going to show you what this person looks like, okay? This person may look like this, okay? Somebody who is fat, ugly, maybe even going bald, fuck, light brown hair, is older, maybe in their 50s. They have been instructed, they think they're a master, a teacher, a mentor of some sorts, but they're mentoring people to be abusive. And now this person who clearly was the abusive party in the relationship is checking out their current timeline and seeing this person is a fucking devil and it's fall of civilization. There's nothing there except for that instructor. This instructor is falling because they're on demon time. They use black magic or some kind of fucking, I don't know, some kind of possession of the dark side to curse you. But they, it ricocheted, bitch. That fucking bullet's for you. Somebody who was manipulated is uh, by this instructor to abuse you or the light seeds or themselves. <laughs> They're all falling. All falling. These people are fucking ignorant, greedy, corrupt, and very indulgent. And whatever they in were indulging in is going to be their de demise. So let's get the situation deck. Ancestors... Okay, these cards want to come out, so we're going to take them out and check that out in a few minutes. Ancestors, what's the situation deck? Yeah. It's poison. Somebody was fucking drinking the poison. It says toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people. You check these people, and you told somebody to check their fucking friends, what they called stability. That clearly somebody was in a stalemate to offer you love, to see you as Venus because of this toxic, unhealthy behavior that this cancer had them in. They enabled this behavior. 
And now somebody w is searching for you, but they had a blindfold on the whole time. They're never going to search for you. They're looking for you everywhere. But they threw you away like trash because they were fucking blindfolded and in stagnation. They discarded you, threw you away, and now they're looking through all kinds of information online and records. And they're searching for you everywhere, but you're done. You completed something. When it came to this poison and toxic cycle, when it came to friends, family, acquaintances, and somebody is going to have to do the fucking same thing. If they want tomorrow to be any different than the last couple years. There you go. Archangel Michael is protecting you. You got protection. You are prevented from harm and there is divine intervention and a lot of people are triggered by you. Triggered by your name, triggered by your house, place. I don't know. It's these friends, these family members. And especially this so-called teacher or mentor, they're triggered by you. They can't keep their name out of your motherfucking mouth. Like Taz did a while ago, you know, like kept barking. This person keeps trying to bark at you and you ain't even fucking phased. You're like, get the fuck out my way. Move, bitch. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I am not in the simulation anymore. You cannot abuse me. And you're giving, you're lighting somebody's candle. And showing them that they don't have to be abused. They are not in the simulation anymore. Things are changing. It's time to be independent and honest. And there's a lot of people who refuse to be independent and honest. And you don't give a fuck. You don't want them around. The wheel of fortune is in your favor. You got the wheel of fortune here, guys. This is a new beginning. End of delays. Change in direction and offer of happiness. Somebody's coming in to offer you happiness. You decided to offer yourself happiness. Something that people refuse to give to you. You got the king of cups here. Somebody is flipping their roles. You got a warm-hearted, generous, honorable person who is very redefined coming in. It says, yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once and follow your creative patterns, uh, passions. And then you got the new beginning. Because you followed your creative passions and did it with love and guidance, you got the queen of cups, king of cups here. You have a divine partnership coming in. That's going to be equilibrium, two of cups. Yes, a lot of people are going to try to distort people's view and get mad and jealous and say some stupid shit. But it's an equilibrium. It says starting a new life, finding your purpose, and a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. It's time to forgive these people for they not known better. And you got Archangel Michael here in the background protecting. So you have nothing to worry about, especially when it comes to these low life uh, bullies. It's the Knight of Swords.
smacked in the face with reality, I don't even know where that fucking ended because I just looked down and uh, there was no volume. So that scrap. But whatever, life is a series of consistent shifts and cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow in life and create unnecessary stresses. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. You're healing. You're imagining yourself and your beloved surrounded by light, feeling a relationship being healed. I have no idea where the fuck it cut off, guys, but you are the magician and somebody has been trying to use magic to control you, but Archangel Michael is here to protect you. You have completed a cycle when it came to spiritual poverty. You have the King of Queen of Cups here. Somebody who's warm, generous, honorable, and redefined is coming in. Yes, it's safe to trust. Just follow your creative passions. You have a new beginning here, the end of delay. Okay, so change your direction and off and once you change your direction, it will offer you happiness and new beginnings. You're starting a new life, fulfilling your purpose and forgiving and compassionate review of the past. There is a lot of people still spying on you and they're pissed off because they can't stop you. They can't abuse you. And the people who have been enabling people to abuse you physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually are all getting caught the fuck up. These ignorant, greedy, corrupt individuals who are indulging in dark magic trying to curse you are the ones who need exorcisms, guys. People are seeing their current timeline, adulthood, gestational years, all this stuff and everything is being seen for what it is. The tables are being flipped. You have the Wheel of Fortune and these people in the Six of Cups in reverse, these friends, family, acquaintances, you stood up in your truth against these bullies because you're the wounded warrior. You're the athlete, the gladiator. And life is a series of consistent shifts and cycles. So you may not know where life is taking you, but you know where it's not taking you. And don't get it twisted. You did the work and the universe will reward you for getting out of the simulation and helping others get out of fucking simulation. These people wanted to judge you and put you to death. But three of pentacles, you have, you're working with the universe and the universe needs you. So you're not going to end nothing. Nothing is going to end for you. I love you guys. I don't know how much time I have left, but let's get some juice, okay? This player, you're closed off to any players. You took the lead. Right towards big things and a marriage because you chose to help people. So that's your what you get in return. The, the universe is going to bless you with a message from somebody you may have helped. And you're going to get in a marriage with them. And it's a dog. They're going to be very, very loyal to you. They're not going to try to break you. It's the moon. There is a lot in the dark when it comes to this new moon eclipse. And you are the empress and somebody chose an empress in reverse and they're really upset about that right now because the empress is the one with the real blessings on blessings. I love you guys. I hope this resonated. I hope this gave you some clarity. I'm sorry about the, the no volume. But look, somebody judged you and whoever is doing magic manipulation, they're going to judgment time. I'm telling you, somebody was very cunning. They tried to use their power. And their fame or some to get fame, I don't know, to get recognized in some kind of way, but they didn't have any willpower. And you have the ability to transmute. You are really changing life. And people are going through dharma, people are going through karma, people need to learn to compromise and get up out of this controlling energy. Anybody who's trying to control you, well, they're just being seen as a fucking fool. And they need to do well by you. You told somebody to do well by you, but they wanted to control you. And now look at what they're in. Everybody needs self-care. If people aren't loving on self and self-caring, well, then they're going to be talking to the moon, trying to ask for blessings. You are blessed, guys. And I'm telling you, you are pressure. So continuously keep being pressure. I love you guys. Stay blessed. I hope this resonates. Bye.